Hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a neon hollow winter collaboration with Mrs. Gay's Corner. I've started this many off with Dainty Digits, Glitter Be Gone, and then Color Spiral Row, Unicorn Color Correcting Base. And then I'll be using the Color Spiral Row, Chasing a Unicorn. It's like a silvery, whitish hollow. But I'm going to go in with my first coat of the Color Correcting Base Coat. Now, this is supposed to be like the closest to a white hollow that you can get, like a white linear hollow. And then we're going to go in with the second coat of the Color Correcting Base. It's almost white, but it's got something going on to it. I don't, I don't know if it's like purple or something in it. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So, um, you got to use that base before you can use this part of it. And this is the Chasing a Unicorn. So, we're going to go in with that first coat of it. Let it dry down a little bit. And I have been chasing the unicorn. I've been looking for this white hollow for Eva, like many of us. Um, I've got this one, and I've got two others that are similar, but I think this one's the closer to being white. Um, I might do a comparison video someday. So my friend Tammy got in touch with me and we decided we were going to do a collab and I asked her, I said, oh, I'm going to top it with some pro FX and keep talking. So I asked her, I said, well, do you want to do like a neon winter or a hollow winter? And she said both. So I was really excited about that. So I'm going to be using You Are Beautiful Plate 16. It's just got a bunch of snowflakes. My AliExpress stamper, my clear jelly scraper. And today I'm going to be stamping with these Pipe Dream Polishes, Light of Day, 110 Degrees, and Pank. No, on the list. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind. On the list. <clears throat> so I'm doing like a gradient stamp. I'm adding a little bit of these colors onto the stamping plate. And I'm doing one, I'm trying to do just one scrape across them because I don't want to blend the colors too much. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing. I am using different images from all over this plate. There were just so many snowflake images that caught my eye. I decided to go ahead and do kind of like a skittle with it. But I'm telling you, in the winter, when it's all dreary and wet and cold and whatever, I, I want some hollow and some neon. And today we're doing both. I'm going to tap in just a little bit on that tip because it's I'm missing something. There we go. But I do. I love hollows, you know, especially when the sun's shining but it's still cold. Those are just, they sing to me. And neons, I'm always in the mood for neons. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. Oh, I had to double scrape that one. I tried to be very careful with it, though. <clears throat> the issues, the struggles. So there we go. And now for the pinky. So these aren't stamping polishes. These are just regular polishes. But, they, you know, I tested all of my neons, and these seem to pick up and, and, you know, show up the best. So that's what we went with today. Tap, tap, tap. So there we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here with some tape. And it's coming up really well. I mean, surprisingly well. <laughs> here we go. So there we go. I'm going to top it with some Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat to make sure that it doesn't smear. I hate that you can't see the hollow goodness of that base color. I'm hoping it'll show up at least in my swatch photos. I'm going to be using this I Snow You Love Me by OPI. I got it on clearance Sally years ago. I'm going to dab some out on my little mat. And then I'm going to use just dotting tool. And I'm going to put them in the center of the snowflakes. To, you know, add some more hollow goodness to this mani. They're a little tricky to get up off that mat. So I'm only going to show, show me putting them on one, one of my nails. I had to fish them. I had to go fishing for these hollow circles. 
but I really ended up loving this one and I cannot wait to see what Tammy comes up with. I'm going to top it with some posh top coats, seal it all in and make sure those little hollow discs don't just pop up off my nails. There we go. Nice generous layer. Want everything laying flat. Don't want to get stuck in my hair. So I will have a link for Tammy's channel down below. I would love for you to go check her out. Subscribe. Give, show her some love. You know. Um, and there you go. There's mine. That's it for mine. I have a swatch photo coming up. And there you go. So I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.